Okay, so this tutorial is going to start at the point at which you have already created your avatar and it's already good to be uploaded into the our VR chat. Uh, if you don't know how to create an avatar and upload it, so you're going to have to find another tutorial. This is specifically only for the snail marker, to, snail markers, or finger trails. Uh, you have to find somewhere else. Uh, but what we want to do is, as you can see here, we have the my Pepsi Man model. We have the snail marker, which you can find a link to in the description below. The VRChat SDK, which you can get on VRChat's website, and this is just my uh, muscle animator, which I'm going to. You don't need this, but it's going to help me personally later on at, during the video. Uh, but you don't need this at all. It costs fifteen dollars from the Unity asset store. You don't need it. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to go into the snail marker folder, snail the marker, and we're not going to go into prefab yet. We're actually going to go into components, trail enabler, and we're going to click on the enable trail animation here. What we're going to do is we're going to click on the animation folder, and the reason why we want to open this up first is because this animation is currently set to be an entire second long. We actually don't want that. We only want it to be one single frame long. So we're going to go over here, and we're going to copy, click on this so it's all highlighted. Copy, click, make sure the line is on the second frame, and then just paste it again. And then we go back over here, and we can click on this and delete it. And this one's good. After that, we're all done with working with this currently. Next, we're going to go back up to the folder above it, and we're going to go to our model here. I'm going to go to armature, our hips, spine, chest, and this is, by the way, this is where we're going to be putting the marker attached to. I'm going to attach it to my finger here, so I'm going to go all the way down my hierarchy until you reach my finger. And we're going to have that. We go into our, go back up to the marker folder. I'm going to go to prefab. We're going to take this blue prefab right here, and we're just going to drag it right onto that. So then this is parented to our fingertip. Okay, and right now I don't have a mesh, so you can't actually see it. Uh, but if you wanted to make the marker have a specific mesh that you can change, you'd go up to the mesh filter here. And just for the sake of visibility, so we can actually see what we're working with, I'm going to change it to a cube quick. Actually, no, just we'll go with the sphere, so it's nice and spherical, so we can see the finger size. As you can see, it's a little bit too big, so let's scale it down 0 0.001. That should be about fingertip size, uh, maybe one smaller. Okay, we're going to take the marker and we're going to move it just a little bit forward so we can see what we're working with. And now we have our marker prefab. Uh, as you can see, if we click on our animation, the marker prefab itself has an animation on it. We do not want to touch this animation at all. As you can see, it's on all three of them. We do not want to mess with this at all. It is what controls the actual trail source here. As you can see, right now the trail source is currently disabled. You know, it's not up here. This is not checked. That is how it should be. We do not want to enable this trail source here. Uh, but if we go down to if we go down to trail position, this is the point at which your trail is actually going to be emanating from. Say if you had a, a mark, you know, actual marker model. If you move this around, you can see that it's you know not relative to the sphere mesh. This is the point that the trail is actually going to be coming out of. For sake of the video, we're just going to leave that at zero. Uh, to actually create our trail, we're going to be going into our trail source here. And this is where we change how this, how it's going to look. Uh, I mean, we can change the ink however we want, but I'm just going to leave it with the default trail snail marker shader. Uh, you can have a, a single solid color, you know, however you want to have it. You can have a gradient, which is uh, the color will shift from one color to another, uh, which you can change right here. In this, if we wanted to make it a blend into a different color, as you can see here, but I'm not going to mess with that right now. That takes a little bit of more work. And there's also texture, which you can apply texture, such as a rainbow or a, uh, I don't know, a face, however you would like. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to width currently, and we're going to change this to 0.011. That's approximately the thickness of your finger, and it's the same thickness that the markers use in the, uh, the marker world that most people go to. Uh, so we're just going to leave that how that is. After we've done that, we're going to go down to here where it says Snail Marker Animation Creator, and we're going to do everything. It's going to pop up this window here, and we're going to, this is where it's going to dump all your files out. I want all my files for it to be dumped out into my Pepsi Man folder. So we're going to close my Pepsi Man, and we're going to hit Select Folder. And if you, it pumped out these, uh, these four, five files right here. Okay, oh, sorry, not five, only these, these four, sorry. 
Uh, this right here is our animation override controller. Uh, if you have one already, you do not need this anymore. But since I don't, we're gonna I'm gonna leave that here. This is the drawing animation. This is the one that well, actually when you want to draw, it's going to be happening. And this is the one that controls when you want to erase it. Uh, just for showcasing, if you wanted to do it, you would put your drawing animation on whatever animation you want to draw. For example, I prefer handgun so that I can make a finger point and then I can say when or where I want my drawing to be. For now, I'm not actually going to do that because we actually do not want either of these two animations. Both of these have a flaw in them where they cannot edit any of the armature from the in initial prefab. Sorry. So we actually have to recreate these animations from scratch. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go to each animation Sorry, and we're going to take note of what the information inside of it is. We can go ahead and just give these a good click on and a copy. And we're going to go click on our Pepsi Man, duplicate, just so we have a workspace to go with. And then we're going to click on this one and we're going to go to Animation, Create, and I'm just going to name this one Drawing Actually. And then we can click on the first frame and paste it in. As you can see, our player model actually dropped a bit, and that is completely fine. If you have done work with animation before, you may know that the potty will drop down like this. Uh, but this is exactly okay with what we want to do. Now we can actually, you know, create our animation for when we're actually drawing. Uh, because I prefer using the finger gun in drawing, I usually emulate the same finger point as my drawing animation. Uh, so this this is what I was talking about with muscle editor. It makes you know doing your edits a lot easier. For example, I can just uh, let's see, go to fingers, we'll do right index, and I know the pointer is 0 0.8. And as you saw here, it just moved out like that. Actually, here, turn that on so you can actually see what's going on. Uh, so that's that, and then we'll make a nice close fist for everything else. And then Pebble Studio can also go and mirror. Copy values to mirror side. If I go to just like, oops, sorry, right fingers. Copy values to mirror side. So then we have our pointing for when we're actually drawing. After we're done there, we can go back up and we need to recreate our erase all animation as well. For this, we're going to do the same thing. Just click on these two, copy, go to our initial prefab, which is this one. And we're going to click this and hit create new clip. And we'll name this one erase all actually. Go to the first frame and paste it in. Oop, there we go. See? Alright. And then this one I usually keep as a open hand because I usually replace it with the open hand. So let me reset everything quick. And we'll give ourselves a open hand. Here we go 0.25. 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, and 0 0.8. Gives us a good open hand look, and we'll just copy the values to the other side. And there we have our, oop, we got to copy this over, if it would let me. This is always the hardest part for me. Alright, let's quickly go back and make sure that the other animation, ah, yes, yeah, see, you can see I did not actually copy the animations on this one. So we'll just do that one quick. Make sure they're both good. Alright. And there are our two animations we have for our drawing and erase all. Uh, next what we're going to do is we're going to actually apply it to our characters. They have a workplace. And we're going to click on this overrides right here. And we're going to take the drawing actually. I'm going to put it right on the handgun. So I can just lift my thumb up to draw and put my thumb back down to stop drawing easily. Erase all, I put on open hand, wherever it is, hand open, right there. And that should be good to go. Uh, if you need, you can actually hide, and you can edit your armature, so you can hide this thing as you wish. Um, I'm going to be uploading this exact same prefab that I've created during this whole video. Um, if the video is up, then there is a 100% guarantee that I, it is in fact working in-game. If it does not work properly in game, you're going to have to rewatch the video as something has gone wrong. Uh, I will not upload this video if there's any issues in game.
So you'll have to double check and make sure that everything's working.